like home lads we're delighted the sun is shining show number one the sunnies are on happy days and you know what it is great to be out because let's face it we have all been cooped up for what seems like forever but thanks to everybody's hard work we are gradually becoming more free to move around the country and i know lots of you are holidaying in ireland at the moment or certainly making plans to some heading for the beach some on city breaks whatever holiday you choose Really, it's just about the chance to say hello again and to have all the crack we can have on this incredible island of ours. Now, over the next couple of weeks, we'll be travelling around Ireland with our house band, who we've aptly named the Homebirds. Good to see you, lads. And this evening, we're in the gardens of the brand new Museum of Literature Ireland here on Stephen's Green in Dublin. Now, during the series, we'll be checking in with some well-known faces as they pack their bags and head for the Irish hills, beaches, rivers and lakes. And travel expert Owen Corrie is here with me this evening. Owen, great to see you as always. And we are going to be talking about lots of brilliant things that people can do around the country. But we've got to start with the government uh, announcement on Friday and give us the story of what's um, happening in the Midlands now. Yes, Catherine, three counties have locked down. They're Kildare, Leash and Offaly. That means no staycations out of those three counties and no staycations into those three counties. Hotel guests can stay in their residence, but no new check-ins. And restaurants can only use their outdoor spaces. Neffert will be looking at this and hopefully in two weeks' time we'll have better news. OK, and that's all we want is better news. And uh, listen, we'll catch up with you a little later on. So thanks a million for that. Now, like so many people, over the past few months, I've had a serious case of wanderlust. I won't lie to you, lads, I was mad for road. And what a better way to hit the road than in a camper van. So, with my two-year-old daughter as my trusty navigator, what could go wrong? We packed up, turned left, and hit the road for Wexford. After months of lockdown, we are finally out on the open road. And it feels so, so good. Adventure in our big van. Uh oh, what was that? Chair fell down. Yes, that's the sea, and a first lesson for me. Everything in a camper van needs to be tied down. Myself and Ellie have an exciting road trip ahead, and our first stop, the beautiful South Beach in Cahors. This is where we spent all our childhood summers. Like, we used to pack back in May, and we wouldn't come home till September. The fabric of my childhood, all my memories are from down here. You know, the bad weather, the good weather, the wet clothes, the soggy sandwiches. You know, if you'd asked me anywhere I wanted to go in the couple of months that we were locked away, this was it. For me to kind of get here now, to start my journey, there was nowhere else I'd start but here. Ready, steady. <laughs> Isn't that every kid paradise? A sandy beach and some sandcastles. It doesn't get any better. You don't need anything else. Happy will be beyond the sea. You think we go in this way? Do we go this no, way? This is a oh, castle? Yeah. Is it a castle or a castle? No, a castle. It's a castle. I think only Peppa Pig says castle. And a fair old castle it is. The newly refurbished 19th century Johnstown Castle is rich in Gothic elegance and splendor and even has its own colourful residence. Although, there's some debate as to what they're called. Come on, peacock. No, they're peacocks. No, no, they're chickens. They're chickens? That's one hell of a chicken. Okay, I am not paying if you break that, Ellie. The 150-acre estate has a unique servant's tunnel. It runs 86 metres and is believed to be the longest in the country. It runs from the old meat house to the kitchens. 
Very down to nothing. There are monsters in the There's no monsters. But there is a playground, Ellie's favourite place to be. I can't believe I actually didn't know that this place was here. It goes to show, like, I know that area where we grew up so well, but I don't know the rest of Wexford at all. Two, three, woo! Okay, we'll go get some dinner. No, I want to get on the swing. Came over it. I'm playgrounded out. For our first night, we parked up at the designated camper van spot on St. Helens Pier and a chance to show off my sophisticated camping cooking skills. White bread, tomato ketchup. Are you going to try some chicken? Let's try a little bit of chicken with tomato ketchup. It's not about being fancy. It's about being a little rough and ready and open to new experiences. Five-star dining. I didn't think about all the extras, and I feel already now camping is about the little extras that turn the ordinary, like now, into the extraordinary. Once I get a little more organized, I think I'm going to enjoy it more. <laughs> I.e. when I get a bottle opener. We're going to count to ten, right? One, two, three. Wexford is called the sunny southeast, but not every day. Everything is all wet. Hey, so here we are. Now, I'm looking for a local fella, stocky guy with a dog and uh, a potato addiction, apparently. That's the fella now, not the dog. Catherine Thomas, how are you? Ah, look at you. How are you doing? I'm not too bad, you? Good, yeah, not a bother. Good to see you. Is this your bus? This is my bus. How's it going? Um, very good when I'm driving forward. The reversing and the parallel parking probably needs a bit of work. So this is where you would have spent a bit of the lockdown? Yes, I was up in Dublin. Our train kind of came to a halt and I said, like, I need to get out of Dublin. I was kind of near, it was like a feel the walls were closing in on me. So, um, yeah, so I'm from Camp Isle, which is about 15 minutes that way. I'm lucky, I come from a farm, so yeah. uh, there's plenty of fresh air, plenty of grass uh, to go out for a walk in. And what was that, that like, then, that extended time with the folks? And kind of being back to when you left. So I went into a bedroom with a single bed, Man United duvet, <laughs> Man United wallpaper, Man United curtains. <laughs> so that was a bit of a change. Um, mother felt me awful well. Probably nutritionist would be too. How did you manage that? All the rest of us trying to kind of manage the weight during lockdown. You probably were the same because but you've got to keep your body ticking over as well in terms of food and training and all that, do you? Leinster, to be fair to him, dropped out weights. You know, gave us gym sessions, gave us running sessions to do. You know, everyone try to stay fit and healthy as best they could and be ready for a return. What does Wexford mean to you? You know, as well, Wexford's home. You know, it's nice having that second space where you can come and you can really relax. You know, it's, it's just that. It's the way of life. It's the people. It's, you know, the scenery. I'm tying in all your chat about Wexford. You never once mentioned potatoes. <laughs> you have a bit of a potato problem, do you? Oh. <laughs> I do love a spot. Um, my mother does an incredible spot, to be fair to her. And I don't think there's a day gone by that I didn't have a spot. <laughs> In fairness, they are delicious. Yeah, the Wexford spuds and the yeah. Wexford strawberries. There's the rules of the road, and then there's the rules of camper vanning. Waving at everybody is top of the list. Oh, there are the guards. Always wave to the guards. We've been driving along looking out at all this stunning coastline, so I decided it was about time I turned off the engine and got out onto the water. How are you, Catherine? How's it going? Welcome to the Hook Peninsula. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. This is stunning. North Wexford, absolutely beautiful, long, sandy beaches. Get down to southwest Wexford and onto the Hook Peninsula then, and it's a completely different ball game. Obviously, we have lovely, sandy beaches, but they tend to be secluded in little coves surrounded by beautiful sea cliffs. So your company is the Irish Experience. You are all about kayaking. I'd say when the phone started ringing again, it was just one of those... Thank God. We really thought that it was going to be an issue and that we might lose the entire season. We had to decide, was it going to be worth opening up? And it was a gamble, but we are struggling to keep up with the demand. It's incredible. We've never seen anything like it. Lads, you're suited and booted. I'm delaying proceedings. You're yeah. going out in the kayaks as well. We are indeed, yeah. Uh, I have to admit, when I was walking down the beach, I said, is that Gavin James? Gavin <laughs> we always get that. <laughs> we actually have the same barber. Oh, okay, love it, love it. But you're obviously on holidays, staycationing. Yeah, it's great. 
bit of uh, hot weather and relaxation, no work. So it's I know, it's all I know. We we've been lucky with the weather the last couple of days. Yeah, really lucky. So we went up uh, for a hike yesterday. Where was it we went? Uh, Come Chigong. Okay. We'll do a loop up there. We'll do uh, Shleve Le tomorrow. Now, you don't look like the biggest sun worshippers in the world. <laughs> <laughs> but would foreign travel have always been once every year, once every two years, three years? Oh, we've had four trips away that were cancelled because of COVID-19. Oh, so God. just breaks away, city yeah. breaks and that. Yeah. We'd usually head off to Spain or Portugal or that for a while. Yeah. But uh, we're quite happy now here. It's stunning. The water is crystal clear. There isn't a gust of wind. It's just very relaxing. I can totally understand now why you were so gung-ho to get back out here and why it was necessary, you know. For business, one thing, but I mean, it's a beautiful experience as well and good for the soul. The ions of the sea deliver me something that makes me happy. You know what? Just like Wexford has always made me happy and still does. <laughs> you know what? I can't tell you how much we enjoyed that. But after one week, here is what I learned about camper vanning. Number one, disposable barbecuing is a lot more difficult than you may think. Number two, there is a reason that you did not see any parking shots in that story. And number three, Gardy, if we're waving at you, will you give us a wave back? But you know what? It was great to see so many people out and about enjoying themselves around the Hook and in Johnstown Castle. And Wexford is most certainly back up and open for business. After the break, I will be swapping travel updates with Owen Corrie and Dancing with the Stars champions Jake Carter and Karen Byrne swap their dancing pumps for riding boots as they head to Connemara's wild and woolly west. See you in a few. place like home. Now this evening we are at home in the middle of Dublin City at the Museum of Literature Ireland and later we'll be travelling to Connemara with Jake Carter and Karen Byrne. Now if you are lucky enough to be heading out west or in any direction around the country the chances are you've got your eye on safety, good value and good crack and one man keeping an eye on all three is Owen Carey and that's exactly it Owen. We all want to have a bit of crack but safety is paramount isn't it? Like what can we do to ensure that we're being as safe as possible? Absolutely, Catherine. Keep an eye out for a green sticker. Falsha Ireland have a scheme in place, a COVID safety scheme. Dozens of businesses are signing up every day. 1,200 have signed up already and there's lots more to come. It means the staff are trained up and the premises are checked out. It makes it safe to gaze and graze this summer. Brilliant. And I mean, look at us in Dublin and the sun is just doing its thing. And even with restrictions, there's so much that Dublin has to offer, isn't there? Absolutely. Dublin will be famous for its indoor facilities. This is an outdoor facility attached to an indoor uh, facility. But keep an eye on the outdoor as well. Have a look at those plaques we all walk by or drive by. Uh, pick a theme, pick a writer, go through the city. Have a look at the old walls of Dublin, just below Christchurch Cathedral. Everybody uses the parallel street. They're there to be seen. The seascape. I've seen beautiful seascapes around the world. You've seen beautiful seascapes yeah. around the world. But if you go from Dawkey to Holt, that's pretty much world class. And then if you turn right at the Yellow House and take left up Stocking Lane and keep going up the hill, you could be in Connemara, you could be in the west of Ireland. Beautiful outdoors within a very, very short reach Stunning. of the city. Yeah. Dublin's outdoor pro product is terrific. And we've talked a lot about the old, give us the new, what's happening, what's out there, give us some insider tips. Okay, the very old first, Newgrange is back open as of this week. It's outdoor only and it's individual booking only. It'll take 12 bookings and you must book online, but we're back in business there. That's brilliant to hear. And new, the uh, viewing platform in beautiful Kirkogwina, looking down on the Great Blasket. Is there anywhere in the planet has as many writers per acre as the Great Blasket? And the nearby Blasket Centre, you don't have to get wet to go there because they put it on the mainland. That's free admission to the end of the year. Lots of places with free admission just to get things going again. They include more than 30 of the sites of the Office of Public Works. They would include places like the Cage of Fields, like Browns Hill Dolman and Carla, where you come. Yeah. from 
and also some of the areas will have the site open like Tara, like Glendalock, but the visitor centre is not. Trim Castle, the site is open, the keep is not. Check online, check it out on social media and there are about 35 of the OPW sites that are not open at all. So do check before check you visit. All right, as always, listen, you're a wealth of knowledge. Thanks a million, Owen. You, now, holidaying at home is all about new experiences and for dancing Dubliner Karen Byrne, it was certainly that when boyfriend Jay Carter whisked her off on a road trip to gorgeous Connemara. <laughs> Karen and myself don't get away together very often as we both have busy work schedules so this is a real treat for us and the emphasis is on relaxation. I've never been to Galway or Connemara so this is all new to me. Why is he staring at us? I'm a little bit worried though because I've left Jake to book most of our activities. Karen needs to have a little more faith in me. It's all too easy to just book a week abroad but there's just so much to do on our own doorstep. I'm taking Karen horse riding along the shores of the Corrib in Moycullen. Welcome to Connemara Equestrian Escapes. Thank you very much for having us. I'm Cod. Nice to meet you. So we've no like horse riding experience? No, it's no problem. We can cope with that. Um, these are Connemara ponies. Okay. So they've got great temperaments, so they're very kind. That's Dougal. He's going to be your, oh, your ride today, Jake. Karen. We've got Henry over here for you, Jake. Oh, very good. Yeah, so these guys are actually half-brothers. I okay. knew they were the yeah. image. Yeah, don't they look like each other yet? Yeah. Walk up to the top, and you want your left hand here, and your right hand here. Yeah, right, Dougal? He's good. Yeah, up you go. Go for a cat. Stop, Jake. Yeah, all right. Well done. Lovely. Okay, bring your leg forward. That's it. Okay. I feel so, like I need a seatbelt. All right, now, the reins. <laughs> Drop your baby finger underneath. Come up like that. Right, oh, always for forward. Oh, Dougal right. is the cutest horse. Can I bring him home? You can. But uh, you can just, I'll give you my bank details. Uh, <laughs> shoulders back, oh. nice and straight. Boobs out. Oh, no bother, no bother with that. Connemara Equestrian Escapes is the perfect place if you're like me and have never been on a horse before. It caters for all levels, from beginners to advanced and from families to solo travellers. You're doing great, Karen. How do you feel? Oh, I, I actually love it. Good. Go, walk on. Oh. So you sit up straight, nice, nice and calm. Okay. He's yes. going very fast, this horse. Very fast, yeah. Go on, squeeze with your legs. Come on, Dukes. The riding centre has a variety of terrains, from woodland walks to lakeside routes. It's set in the middle of the countryside in Moycullen, only a 10-minute drive from Galway City. It's so calm, boy, it's Henry, isn't it? Boy. Yeah, it's just calm being on the horses. So you were saying they're good for therapy, is it? Absolutely. Even just being with the horse, they're so understanding. They can detect what kind and of a mood you're back. in. They don't talk back. All right, Jake. Walk on, Henry. You're still with Walk us? On. <laughs> Walk on with hope in your heart. And you'll never walk. Is he a Liverpool fan? Alone. You'll never walk alone. Good lad, Henry, yes. Like, this is so nice. Isn't it fun? It's some scenery, though, isn't it? You all right there in the back? I'm good, yeah. Me and Henry are best mates now. Me, your stars and your helmet don't make you a jockey. <laughs> We're heading west deeper into Connemara towards Lee Nan, famous for its scenery and wild fjord. I'm taking Karen to see a place called the Misunderstood Heron, and as we're both foodies, I can't wait. The Misunderstood Heron is a food truck deep in the countryside of Connemara, and one thing's for sure, it's certainly not misunderstood. It gets plenty of awards and has been voted one of the top 10 best food trucks in the world by the Lonely Planet Guide. God, this looks lovely, Jake. It actually does. How it's did huge. you find this place? I've seen it on the internet. So yeah, it's won like loads of different awards. It must be the busiest place. I've there. never seen a food truck with such a long queue in all my life. It's mm. mad that it's literally mm. in the middle of nowhere. So what is this actually you got me? Pork. That is pork belly. Jake, that's my favourite. See the way I knew that? Mm. Look at that view, like, where would you get that? No, oh, it's amazing. I'm delighted now coming here and it's not even raining. I tell you. What's amazing is that it's in the middle of nowhere and yet there are always queues. It's a real case of if you build it, they will come. Set on the fjord, the location is scenic and the food is great. Glad we got here early because by the time we were leaving, the queue was even longer.
Karen jakes the weather by saying, at least it wasn't raining. Oh, you can't have an Irish holiday without a bit of rain. Yeah, I know, but it's just on a boat in this weather. No! <laughs> 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 this ferry takes you on a guided tour through the famous Killery Fjord. It sails seven days a week, starting at 10.30 a.m. As we sail into the misty. So, Jake, did you know this was the only fjord in the whole of Ireland? Oh, I looked at it. I did. But come here, do you know what I'm just looking? See all the smoke? Do you know what it reminds me of? The mist on the mountainside? Yeah, when you're cooking the dinner. <laughs> the smoke in the kitchen. <laughs> I look at the little waterfalls. It's, the scenery is actually stunning. Killery Fjord is Ireland's only true fjord and extends 16 kilometres in from the Atlantic. It forms the border between Galway and Mayo and as you can see, has some of the most spectacular scenery in the west of Ireland. Do you know what's mad? If you had have actually asked me to travel around Ireland normally for a holiday, before Pre this, virus, yeah. yeah, I would have been like, are you mad? And would you would you go on a staycation again then? Like yeah, if we go somewhere else in a couple of months, would you go? Yeah, like I never was in Galway before, and I never stayed out and so nice. So yeah, and you no, wouldn't see great. this in Tenerife. You wouldn't. Seeing as Jake was organising everything, I felt I had to do something to keep up. So I booked us a surprise meal at the Glenlow Abbey Hotel's famous Pullman restaurant which features in one of my favourite old movies. The Pullman Restaurant. Aboard the Orient Express. So, in case you haven't already noticed, this is a train. Eating. Yeah. Wow. This is a restaurant. Didn't right. I do good? Now look at this. Imagine I found this. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Welcome aboard Hello. the Pullman Restaurant. Thank you very much for having us. Oh my God. Look at the toilets and all. Oh. oh. I have you set up in here for this evening. Thank you very oh, much. Cheers. This. It's not a chance you could fit your luggage up there. You need about 12 of them. The chic you. <laughs> These carriages date back to 1927 and feature in the famous film Murder on the Orient Express. Oh, look. I'm so excited. Ta da! Oh, she's never <laughs> Today you can enjoy top notch food along with a little piece of history. I feel like this is just so posh right now. Very fancy for us, too. What are you trying to say? I'm used to this. Here's to a lovely trip in Connemara. Cheers. You. Cheers. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks to everyone who helped us get the show on the road here at Mali. And thanks also to our frontline workers who are keeping the national show on the road in healthcare, retail and hospitality. And lads, if you are taking a break or staying at home in Ireland this week, enjoy yourselves. But please be patient, be cool, be kind, because we are all in this together. Next week, we will be coming to you from Galway. But to play us out this evening, it is the Homebirds. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.